Welcome to Marine Gurukul video series. In today's video, we shall cover application of wind and current in chart work. Now, before we talk about wind and current, let's understand few terms pertaining to types of positions that we obtain and use in our navigation. The first one is fixed or observed position. And this is the position of a ship that is obtained by intersection of two or more position lines, intersection of two or more position circles, intersection of one position line and one position circle, I'm sure you would have watched the earlier videos on position lines and position circles and would by now be comfortable with the concept of PLs and PCs. Or a position that is obtained by a reliable electronic navigational aid like GPS, which may provide the position uh, in its coordinates of latitude and longitude. A fixed position or an observed position is a confirmed or validated position. It's represented on the chart with a symbol of a dot and the circle surrounding it. The dot in the center represents the position of the ship. And if we, have, if we want to indicate the time for which the fix has been marked, it can also be indicated against the symbol as you can see on, the, on your screen out here. The next one is DR position or the dead reckoning position, which is obtained by factoring in only the ship's displacement caused because of the course she steered and the engine distance that she has covered from a last known fix. So to mark the DR of the vessel, we must know the last known fix. We must know the course or courses steered during that uh, interval since the last known fix and the engine distance that has been covered. DR position on the chart is represented by a cross. And if the time has to be represented for the DR, it can also be marked next to the symbol. DR position does not factor in effect of any external force like current or wind experienced by the ship. The next is estimated position. It is the position obtained by factoring in ship's displacement because of the course steered, engine distance covered, together with the estimated current and or wind that may have been experienced by the vessel during that interval. EP on the chart is marked with a triangle or a square with a dot in the center. And if the time has to be indicated, that can also be mentioned against the symbol. EP factors in the estimated effect of current and wind experienced by the vessel. So now amongst all these, undoubtedly, an observed position or the fix of the vessel is the actual position of the vessel that has been observed by definitive position fixing means. Next in the order of accuracy would be the estimated position and last would be the DR position. We shall be using these positions depending on the information that is available in the same order of accuracy. If we have a choice, fix would be the of the first topmost priority followed by EP and if none of them are available, we would use the DR position. Now let's understand the effect of current on the chip's track. What is current? Current is a continuous directed flow or movement of seawater because of varied causes like difference in temperature, difference in salinity, etc., etc. The moving seawater causes the displacement of objects floating in it as it carries them along. So the floating objects, which are freely, freely floating in water, would be carried with the water as the water flows because of the current. In the absence of any external factor like current, the ship's track or displacement over the ground shall be same as its displacement through water. So we must understand the difference between track through water and track over the ground. Now, in, let's understand this thing 
with a simple illustration. We have a vessel which is at position A at 0800 hours. It steers a course of 070 degrees true at an engine speed of 11 knots. There is no wind, no current, and we need to plot and obtain the DR of the vessel and the fix of the vessel at 1000 hours. So we plot the 0800 hours fix on the chart, as you can see. Now, from the last known fix, which is 0800 hours, if we apply the ship's displacement vector because of her own propulsion, that is the CTS and the engine distance, that shall give us the DR as we have already discussed under the DR explanation. So from A, we draw the CTS of 070 degrees through. In chart work, the CTS is always marked with single arrow and you please have to respect this convention of single arrow to represent the CTS line. On this CTS line from A, if we mark off engine distance for two hours, which shall be 11 into two, that is 22 miles, we get point B. Point B is obviously the DR at 10 hundred hours. Now, as there is no other displacement vector acting on the ship than her own propulsion, Obviously, her track over the ground would be same as the track through water. What we have plotted is the track through water. And in this case, the track over the ground shall also be the same. So actually, the vessel would be at point B at 10 hundred hours. So point this track over the ground is represented in chart work by course made good and distance made good. And this particular vector is represented by two arrows. You can see the two red arrows coming on the same track. That means track A to B, besides being a CTS track or track through water, is also a course made good track and track over ground. So in this particular case, CMG is same as CTS, DMG distance made good is same as engine distance, and this position B happens to be the also fix of the vessel at 10 hundred hours. So position B is both DR as well as fix. Then we have track through water, which is represented by CTS and engine distance. And we have track over the ground represented by CMG and DMG, though both have been, say, both have been same in this particular case. Now, before we discuss the effect of current, we need to understand the terms that are used to describe current. The direction of the current is represented by what is called a set. The set is the direction in which the water flows. That is, if we say the current is setting south or current is setting 180 degrees true, that means the water is flowing from north to south. The rate of current is the speed speed of current it is expressed in knots the drift of the current is the distance through which a freely floating object at rest relative to sea water be drifted in a given period of time because of the current obviously the drift if we have to obtain in a certain period it shall be equal to rate of the current in knots multiplied by time in hours and what will get drift shall be in nautical miles. Now with these terms having been discussed, let us look at effect of current on the ship's track. When the vessel steams, vessel experiences the displacement vector because of our propulsion and this displacement vector before because of our propul propulsion acts both through water as well as over the ground. And this displacement vector is represented by course to steer as its direction and engine distance as its magnitude. If this vector is applied to the last known fix, we have already discussed this, it shall give us the vessel's DR at the end of the steaming period. If the ship also experiences current, an additional force vector is caused, represented by set 
and drift during the interval. This additional force vector because of the current causes displacement only with respect to ground or over the ground and not through water because the water and ship they flow they flow together or drift together because of the current and so there is no displacement of the ship in relation to water caused by the current thus ship experiences two displacement vectors over the ground its track over the ground shall in such cases be along the resultant of the two vectors let's try to see what we have just discussed to a simple example we have a vessel at position a at 0800 hours you can see on your charts it steers a course of 070 degrees true at an engine speed of 11 knots the vessel experienced current setting south at 3.8 knots now by plotting we need to obtain dr and fix we have already seen in one of the earlier examples wherein there was no current or wind the dr and fix at 1000 hours happen to be same let's see what happens in this particular case now through a if we plot our ship's displacement because of our propulsion then that will be cts drawn through a represented by single vector distance marked off for 2 hours 22 miles position b this becomes the dr of the vessel at 1000 hours this we have already discussed earlier as well now to see how does the current affect the vessel's displacement over the ground for one time at least let us split this into two distinct parts two displacement vectors one because of ship's propulsion other because of current acting simultaneously but let's assume they act one at a time each acting for their respective two hours so if only the ship's propulsion vector cts and engine distance vector acts for two hours then the vessel is expected to shift from or displace from position a to position b so at for at 10 o'clock you would expect the ship to be at b now once at b let us assume the engines are stopped ship is in complete rest in relation to the sea water surrounding sea water and now the current sets in setting south at 3.8 knots now as the water starts flowing southwards the vessel would also drift south southwards so the vessel shall start drifting with over the ground in this direction as represented by the green vector now the green vector represented by three arrows is the current vector and this is the standard three arrow notation that is used in chart work if the vessel drifts for 2 hours then she would have drifted through a distance of 3.8 into 2 equal to 7.6 miles and she would reach point c now that means 2 hours of propulsion vector 2 hours of current vector both acting for 2 hours each we expect the ship to reach point c so c would be the position of the ship at the end of 4 hours in which both vectors have acted one by one in our case both these vectors are acting simultaneously so both are acting for 2 hours each but not one at a time but simultaneously so the effect would still be the same and at the end of 2 hours with both actor both vectors acting simultaneously the vessel would be expected to be at c that means from 8 o'clock to 10 o'clock so c becomes my fix at 1000 hours from 8 o'clock to 10 1000 hours the track over the ground would be represented by line ac this track over the ground we refer to as course made good as its direction and distance made good as its magnitude it's represented by two arrows so now in chart work the cts vector is represented by one arrow current vector is represented by three arrows 
and course made good vector is represented by two arrows now the direction from a to c becomes course made good which in this case is 0 9 1 degrees true and the distance or magnitude of ac is 20.6 which is the distance made good since this 20.6 miles is the distance made good in two hours so the speed made good would be 10.3 knots so now please remember in this case that each side of this triangle is for the same duration here the engine distance was for two hours drift was for two hours so obviously this dmg would also be for two hours so c is the fix at 10 hundred hours b is the dr at 10 hundred hours and the vessel's position will shift along the line ac but her cts does not change cts remains 0, 070 degrees so you see when the vessel reaches here her heading is aligned in this direction that is 0, 070 but her position is shifting along this cmg line when she reaches here everywhere the heading is same as 0, 070 but position is shifting along the cmg line now let us look at a possibly different scenario the vessel at position A at 0800 hours. She needs to reach position C at 10 hundred hours. Position C is her destination position, could be Anchorage, pilot boarding ground. Now that means the vessel needs to make a track over the ground, which is represented by AC in two hours. So AC would represent the course that the vessel will have to make good and the distance that the vessel has to make good in two hours. Since A and C are the same points as in the previous discussion, therefore CMG that has to be made, uh, done by the vessel is 0, 0.91 degrees true and the DMG is 20.6 nautical miles. The current experienced by the vessel is same as in the previous case that is setting south at 3.8 knots. The master wishes to know what course should the vessel set from a and what engine speed sh she should be doing so that in two hours she is able to reach her destination at point c so basically that everything is same so we could consider this in the reverse order to what we had earlier done now vessel wants to reach from A to C highlighted by this black line and this is your track over the ground or the CMG and the DMG vector represented by two arrows. Now she experiences current setting south at 3.8 knots. So if we have to reproduce this triangle that means I'll have to draw the current north of C. Though the set given in the question is south but what we'll have to do is current if we have to draw at C we draw it in the opposite direction highlighted by this black line now and represented by three arrows pointing southwards as before so now with this is the CMG DMG vector this is the current vector each of them is for two hours obviously then A to B vector would be the CTS and engine distance vector and we get CTS of 0, 070 degrees true and engine distance of 22 miles in 2 hours. That means engine speed of 11 knots. Now there is nothing wrong with this working mathematically. It's perfectly in order. But in chart work, we do not, I repeat, we do not reverse the direction of current. So if it was setting south, we would prefer to draw the current setting south only. And to achieve that, we change the point of application of current so we apply current instead of c we apply current at a like this but a we have applied current for two hours setting south and drift for of 7.6 miles this gives us a point d now if we join point d to c as you can see what we see here is that a, B, C, D is a parallelogram. Obviously, then A, B 
and DC are parallel to each other and also equal in magnitude. So obviously, since it's a parallelogram, therefore D to C represents the CTS and D to C distance represents engine distance in two hours. So the CTS is 0, 070 degrees true. Engine distance is 22 miles in two hours, giving us a engine speed of 11 knots. So in chart work, we, if, if we have CMG and we have to get the CTS, we would draw the current at the starting point of the CMG line and draw the triangle as the lower part of the parallelogram represents. Now these two scenarios, one wherein we had drawn the triangle which is representing the upper part of the parallelogram and the one representing the lower part of the parallelogram, these are two different possible scenarios at C and accordingly they carry, the processes carry different names. One possibility could be that we are given the course to steer and we have to find the CMG. When the CTS is known and CMG is to be found, we refer to that as allowing for current. And whenever we have to allow for current, the triangle would be completed as represented by this triangle in the upper part of the parallelogram. That means we'll draw the CTS track and at the final end point of the CTS track, or if you want to call it as the DR position, we shall be drawing the current at this point and completing the triangle as we had seen earlier to get the CMG and the DMG. The other thing could be that we are given the CMG and we need to find the CTS. In such a scenario, we call it as counteracting current and when we have to counteract the current, the triangle shall be drawn as the triangle in the lower half of the parallelogram. When CMG track is given, the current will be drawn at the starting point of the CMG line. It will be drawn at the starting point of the CMG line and the triangle will be completed as in the lower half of the parallelogram. So this is the difference, how the triangles are completed one for allowing situation, other for the contracting situation. Now, there can also be situations wherein on ship, a vessel wishes to estimate the current that the vessel is experiencing, or in exam, the current set and rate is to be calculated. If you look at this triangle, vector triangle, which we are already familiar with now, if you see the current is the vector joining the DR position to its fix. It's the vector joining the DR position to the fix. So as you can see in the vector triangle, direction from DR to fix is the set of the current. So in this triangle, you can see the direction from fix to uh, DR to fix is the set of the current. And the magnitude of this vector or the distance from DR to fix represents the drift of the uh, current during the interval for which the triangle has been made. Again, it's being repeated here that every vector of the triangle has to be for the same duration. So if this triangle was made for two hours, so this drift of 7.6 miles would be for two hours. That means the rate of current would be 3.8 knots. So we need to be very, very careful about this also because this is part of some questions wherein they would expect us to calculate the set and rate of current. That means in such scenarios, we'll have to find out the DR and fix of the same time. And using the DR and fix, we can find out the set and rate of current. Now let us appreciate the elements of the vector triangle because a good understanding of the vector triangle will solve many of our problems. Let's review once again the three vectors involved in our vector triangle. The three vectors involved in our triangle are track through water represented by CTS and engine distance, which in this triangle is represented by AB. So AB is the track through water represented by CTS and engine distance. The second vector is the current vector represented by set and drift represented by BC in this case. 
and the third vector is the track over ground represented by CMG and DMG which is represented by vector A to C in this diagram. CTS vector represented by one arrow, current vector represented by three arrows and course made good vector represented by two arrows. It's imperative that in this vector triangle, every vector has to be for the same duration. So whatever is the duration of one vector out here, all the vectors will have to have the same duration. Now, since there are three vectors, each having a direction and magnitude, there shall be six elements of the vector triangle. These elements are course to steer, engine speed from which we get the engine distance, set and rate of current from rate we get the drift of the current, CMG and SMG from wherein you get the distance made good after you integrate them with time. Be able to complete the vector triangle, please remember you need to have minimum four elements out of six. So if you have to complete the triangle, please source four elements, minimum four elements, and then only the triangle can be completed. If you do not have four elements, the no way can you be completing the triangle. The missing two elements can be then read off from the completed triangle. What is the physics law used in this vector triangle? The physics law used in this vector triangle is triangle law of vector addition, which states that if the two sides of a triangle taken in the same order or same direction represent two vectors, then the third side of the triangle taken in the opposite direction represents the resultant of that two. So we, if you see here, CTS and current vector, they are in the same order or same direction because both are clockwise. And the CMG vector is anti-clockwise. It's the third side of the triangle taken in the opposite direction. So the resultant of track through water and the current is the track over the ground. Now let us understand wind and its effect on the hips track. Wind is a continuous directed flow or movement of atmospheric air because of different atmospheric pressure over different regions. Direction of the wind, the direction from which it comes. That is, northerly wind means wind is blowing from north towards south. So please remember the Convention used for naming the direction of the current is opposite to the convention used for naming the direction of wind. Wind affects the ship's track through water as well as over the ground. The track through water allowing the effect of wind is referred to as effective course or leeway track. So once we allow for wind on the course that the ship is steering, the track that you obtain will be referred to as effective course track or the leeway track. Angle between the course to steer track and the leeway track is referred to as leeway. In chart work, effect of wind on ship speed is intentionally left out because of limitations on number of elements of the vector triangle. However, practically it may not be of much concern for the simple reason that very seldom would we have wind alone and no current because if the wind blows over the surface of sea for some time the least it would give rise to are the frictional currents so when wind and current often coexist so even if the effect of wind has not in isolation be been considered it will automatically show up when the current is estimated and as far as the ship is concerned it will be taken care of so that is if they coexist however if you talk of a hypothetical situation where there is only wind and no current then yes the effect of wind on the speed of the ship in chart work is intentionally left out but again i would say 
in practical considerations it may not be a serious omission allowing wind is the term used when we know our cts and we are required to find our effective course or the leeway track after factoring in wind how do we allow for wind let us see it through a simple illustration the vessel is at position x is steering a course along x y track experiencing wind which is southerly as shown by the wind arrow now we have to allow the given leeway now the leeway when you allow for wind the leeway must be allowed to the lee side of the vessel or should be allowed downwind whichever way your convenient it's comfortable for you to remember now in this case the wind is blowing from the starboard side of the vessel so the port side of the ship is the lee side or the starboard side is into the wind side and port side is the downwind side so whichever way you are comfortable you may remember it so in our case the leeway shall be applied downwind as shown in the diagram this is applied on the downside or downwind side or lee side and this track xz that we are getting is the effective course or the leeway track the magnitude of this leeway track shall be engine distance which in the absence of wind was the magnitude of the cts track counteracting wind shall be the scenario in which the effective course track or the leeway track is known to us and the cts is to be found let us say the vessel is at point x and x to z is the effective course track or the leeway track magnitude of this vector shall be the engine distance the wind experienced is southerly as shown by the wind arrow and now we have to get the cts so the leeway has to be counteracted when counteracting leeway has to be drawn on the windward side or into the wind in this case it shall the starboard side of the vessel is the windward side and therefore the leeway is factored as shown and as we draw the leeway into the wind the vector that we get x y is the cts vector and two course to steer shall be represented by x y now if we have a situation in which we have to factor in both wind and current then there are few questions we need to ask ourselves before we proceed with the plotting question number 1 is it allowing for or counteracting if cts is given cmg is to be found it is allowing for and if cmg is given cts is to be found it's counteracting when allowing for we ask ourselves what to allow first it in the allowing case we first allow for wind followed by current let us see how we allow each of them through this illustration the vessel is at position x he is steering a course represented by this light blue course to steer vector on your on the chart vessel experiences southerly wind represented by the wind arrow and now we allow for wind when we allow for wind we know it has to be allowed on the lee side so we allow wind on the lee side and what we get is the leeway track or the effective course track on this track we cut off engine distance mark of engine distance for the interval for which we intend making the vector triangle so the magnitude of this vector shall be engine distance and this vector is represented by single arrow and we reach point y now we have to allow for current when we allow for current we have already learnt current will be drawn at point y and this drift of this current shall be for the same interval for which the engine distance was taken and that brings us to point z point z is the position of the vessel x to z 
becomes course made good and distance made good back and it's represented by two arrows so now we see in this triangle we have the leeway track with magnitude as engine distance we have the current track and we have the cmg dmg track this is how we allow for both wind and current when factoring in both wind and current we determine that they have to be counteracted that means cmg is known and cts is to be found please remember we need to first counteract current followed by wind and how do we counteract them let's learn through this simple illustration on the chart the vessel is at position x she needs to reach point z in a certain time so x z represents cmg and dmg track presented by two arrows we first counteract current and we know when the current has to be counteracted it has to be drawn at the starting point of the cmg line that means x we draw the current here we represent with three arrows mark of drift for the same interval for which the dmg is there on xz and we obtain this point y we join y to z and yz represents the effect course track or the leeway track and the magnitude of this vector represents engine distance in the duration of the vector triangle this effective track or the leeway track is represented by one arrow now we come to counteracting of the wind wind experienced if it is southerly represented by the wind arrow then to counteract wind we allow the leeway or we draw the leeway rather i'm sorry we draw the leeway into the wind or to the windward this is how the leeway will be contracted into the wind and the track that we obtain is the course to steer track now please remember that this leeway would be a very very small quantity maybe two three four degrees so if we draw both leeway track as well as the cts track on the chart it may lead to cluttering of the plot so if we want the wind can be allowed or contracted on answer sheet and on the on the chart we can plot and use only the leeway track so if we want we could do so and that shall take care of our requirement hope this effort will be able to address your requirements of handling wind and current as far as chart work is concerned thank you very much for watching marine gurukul videos if you have any feedback or you need any further support please reach us on marinegurukul@gmail.com thank you very much have a nice time